No ropes. <laughs> Is he I like a teacher or something? I need a key. <laughs> So many eyes. I just got killed by an Enderman. I thought she just. <laughs> I thought she fucked off. My bad. I know she fucks off eventually, but I thought it was a little. A little sooner after that. The heart. There's a lady up there with a couple other folk. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll excuse me. Go ahead and break this doll real quick and see if uh, see if I missed one. Yeet. Yeet. I honestly don't know. I'm I probably missed like one since some like super hidden spot that I just didn't check. That tends to be what happens with me. I'll miss like one collectible. That's okay. Unless I already got the achievement the last time I played and it just didn't pop one in here. I don't know. That actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Good day. Oh. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed, because that's the closest you get to a lady chase. I think. Yeah, because there's like a whole final confrontation here. Just like the eye showed us. I don't see anything else. So, give me the mirror. Give me the MacGuffin. Man, this is so many years of bad luck, lady. Dude. Look at yourself. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Look at yourself! No. 
Away with you. No. Be gone. Embrace who you are, Randall. Look at yourself! Look at yourself! <laughs> Rip away the thin vein veneer from within whence you hide. I am hungry. I hunger. Come forth, my dear. Enough with gnomes and the like. I must feed. <laughs> and there's uh, no Shadow Six here. <clears throat> now I am the Apex Predator. The mouse has accumulated at least eight more lives. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Our AC came on, scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> the nightmare's about to be very real. Pardon me. Hello. I now have the power to go back to the Pale City and save Mono, right? Right? I love this music. Y'all having a nice meal? Oh, you wish to speak to the manager? Well, joke's on you. I am the manager. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely what the Dursleys deserve. Goofy ass mask. <laughs> that lady was pogging out. Now I'm off to corporate to shut it all down. <laughs> With my teapot in tow. Okay, yeah, it's a cutscene now. And that is the end of Little Nightmares 1. A very short game. But, very cool game. I love it to death. An excellent start to the series. There's the gnomes that I didn't kill. 
Y'all are free to go now. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Fun fact, the gnomes actually do have uh, faces underneath their hats. I don't know why they're all pulling on their hats, though. Tarsair Studios. Excellent work by the people at Tarsair. Let's see, it's about... Maybe an hour and a half, I think, that I spent on that? Granted, I've done this before. I played this game uh, last year, like I said. But, and it's also just not a very long game. But there was enough there to, like, keep people interested, you know? Keep people interested, make them wonder what's going on here. You can really tell that a lot of work went into, um, like, what the rules of this world are and what the story was before they uh, before they really started making the game because there's so much history in the mob and I love that it's something that I think Little Nightmares 2 lacks a little bit but nothing like horribly nothing horribly like it's not like a massive departure but there are just I don't know there's something about the mob that's just magical that I don't think the Pale City quite reaches. Even though I still think the Pale City is excellently done. It still does a good job of telling a story. I think it's also because you just go to so many places in the Pale City that, like, they had to design different vibes for each area, and so, you know, is a whole thing. But, excellent game. Can't wait to dive into the sequel sometime tomorrow, maybe. But we'll... Actually, wait, no, not the sequel. We still have to go through the DLCs, which are also pretty short, from what I remember. Like, they're maybe an hour each, if that. Maybe 30 minutes. Um, but there, we'll be getting into some, like, truly uncharted territory. Because, like I said, we... Like, I think we maybe got through halfway through the hideaway, and then uh, we didn't do the... Uh, the residents at all, so I don't really know what to expect with uh, those two. Although I do think the hideaway is just a bunch of like janitor stuff, and then um, I think there's like a puzzle room where you get gnomes to like shovel coal. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've watched anything on them, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, um, Nordic. I do remember um, seeing the beta for this game back in like 2015 or whenever, and thinking it looked really cool. And then it just kind of it seemed like it disappeared for a while while they like stopped to work on it more. I think that's also why the chef section is my favorite section, is because I'm a big fan of two of my favorite horror genres is like food butcher like butcher horror and hospital horror so like the hospital and little nightmares 2 is like my favorite section in that game kinda i think the mannequin stuff is interesting but it's a bit overdone and it's a little janky but it doesn't like overstay it's welcome i just think that last room with the mannequins it has like way too many in it but that's neither here nor there We'll, we'll whinge about that when we get there. For now, though, I honestly just... Not sure how much longer these credits go, because I know there's like a little thing after them. It's just like a little still, but... You know. So. Hopefully, um... We'll be doing um, a playthrough of Mortal Kombat 1 when that comes out. I don't know if I want to... I might get it early just to avoid spoilers. Um, but I don't know 100%. Fire without smoke. What we're going to do there. 
Ah, this music. I love this music. So, look forward to that. A Mortal Kombat 1 playthrough. And some, like... So we'll, we'll go through the story, we'll get our blind playthrough reactions of it. You'll see us be terrible with the characters and playing as them. And then... Um, from there, we'll probably do some invasion mode stuff. I did want to talk about Little Nightmares 3 a little bit as well. I'm kind of worried like well like like i said i'm hope i'm hesitantly optimistic because tarsier is not working on it supermassive is and they are the people who um gave little nightmares 2 its ps5 port but they are uh you know they're not the main studio and it's not necessarily a bad thing like i always think back to bioshock 2 when i think of um, when studio, when different studios handle an IP, and in a lot of ways, I think Bioshock 2 is better than the first game, in many aspects. Just in terms of like the replayability and the story and what's going on in it, and uh, Minerva's Den is an excellent DLC as well. Yoko Ono, wait a minute, that Yoko Ono. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic because also it's just like the vibe of the trailer was so different to Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Little Nightmares 1 and 2 are very like cold and damp and dark and very forbidding. Whereas Little Nightmares 3 looks like it's going to be a lot more uh, like otherworldly and ethereal and dreamlike. You've got the the doll. I think it's called like the doll monster or something. Just this giant doll that's going through these worlds and whatnot. So I hope it doesn't like stay like that. Like I hope we get um the barber finally. I hope that we get some more stuff that uh, ties it in. Oh, I hope we get more stuff that ties it into um, Little Nightmares One and Two. That it hoists the story along. Oh, this is funky. Mm. I did not think there'd be this many credits. And I can't skip them, so... We shall see. Where's my Ben and Young Entertainment? You're obsessed. Okay, here we go. I think we're at the end of them now. Yeah. Co-funded by the Creative Europe Program of the European Union. Nordic Game Program. Little Nightmares. Excellent game. Can't wait for three. Hope they don't fuck it up. <laughs> but now we just skip, we get a little thing. There's six sitting outside waiting for the f waiting for a boat. That's probably not ever gonna come thank you for playing and that's why I love indie studios because they don't take their fans for granted I'm interested to see what Tarsair is gonna do next though because they are working on something else it's just not little nightmares but we shall see we shall watch their career with great interest. Alright, did I get that mask? I didn't. I did miss one, that's a shame. Oh well. Anyhow. Thank you for joining me. Nice, got some concept art. Oh my. <laughs> it's funny, they're they're actually closer to like normal proportions in these, even though their guts are huge. There's the Maw. There's a third chef. At least there would have been. 
an eye door. The leeches. Fun fact, the leeches on their model actually do have two legs, and they have animations for walking on them, they just don't use them. It's the gnomes. I do like that they got rid of the eyes. It makes them a little weirder. There's that area. Good stuff. But that is it for the main game. We will jump into the DLCs later. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye bye.